The age-old question, the cowboy or the samurai, the manga or the western comic, the anime or the live-action cape films that we've had, ladies and gentlemen, the East versus the West. And why is it that the younger generations are gravitating more to what the East is producing than what the West is producing? Well, I have a theory on that, and I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video. So if you guys would do me a favor, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And with the YouTuberisms out of the way, what am I talking about here? Well, we have seen a massive shift in the younger generations going from Western comic books and Western superheroes to manga and to anime. Why is that happening? Well, one of the things, because there are many things in this, but in today's video, the thing that I'm going to zero in on is the ending, right? Well, what do you mean by that? The ending, uh, comic books, manga, ending... The reason that I'm zeroing in on the ending is because what I'm saying is every great story and every great hero must have an end. You see, the most important thing to a story is, in fact, its ending. And with the exception of possibly One Piece, which is probably just going to go on for another 300 years at this point, most manga and most stories of those heroes and the journeys of those people come to an end, allowing people to take in the media and eventually walk away and leave it behind. Unlike a lot of American comic books, which have been around for, well, some of them almost 100 years and 80 years at the very least. You see, Superman got his start in Action Comics number one back in the 1930s. We are like a decade away from him being 100 years old. And obviously we have batman who took over from the shadow he is gonna be nearing that hundred year old mark very soon what is the problem with these characters carrying on through the generations well as time goes on you started to see these comics have their just their weekly editions the villain of the week and so on and so forth well, eventually, we had to round the corner into a new generation of storytelling where it wasn't just the villain of the week, but there was a larger plot point to be had there. Then we got to the point of storytelling where it was like, well, we've had the larger plot point, now let's dive into character development, let's dive into the characters themselves and really work on that. Then we got into the deconstructionist phase, and now we're even further past that. And essentially what I'm getting at here is that we have seen decades and decades and decades of Western comics and Western superheroes go on forever. They have been handed off like this is a triathlon and we have to just give it off to somebody else to carry on the story. But every time it's handed off, there's one more thing they can't talk about. There's one more thing they can't tell. And why is that? because it's already been told before, and the audience themselves would radically lose interest in a story that's already been told before. So eventually, we get to a point in our storytelling over the decades that there's really nothing more to tell. What more is there to tell? Have we seen some of the greatest stories out there? Well, as human history would rack it up, yes, we have. There's really only so many stories that we can quantify in storytelling the way that we tell stories and this goes back for thousands of years uh, to keep things interesting once they become uninteresting you eventually get to a place where the characters no longer resemble how they used to be or who they were and by doing this what you do is you leave certain parts of the market in place and people say i liked this batman no i liked this batman no that's not my batman that's the worst version of batman i liked this batman right for instance i like the christopher nolan batman i personally think that in the movies that's the best batman that's ever been told right at least in the movies but you then have batman 89 and then you have batman forever and a lot of people say that that's the batman well, now all of a sudden, we have two very different characters, both assuming this same moniker, same name and everything. And to be perfectly honest, after generations of this storytelling, well, we start to see the problem. 
You see, a lot of manga and anime, especially as I've been getting more and more into it lately, I realize it all comes to an end eventually, save for One Piece. And I'm not even going to get into One Piece. I'm not going to talk about it. One, because I don't know anything about it, and I'm not going to get into it. It's over a thousand episodes. No, I'm not doing it. Stop. But save for One Piece, which is just going to run forever and potentially get to a point where it makes the same mistakes that the Western comics are making, a lot of manga and anime run for a time and then eventually end the story. You see their characters go on emotional journeys. They make friends, they lose friends, and eventually the story that they had to tell comes to an end. A lot of times with meaning and sometimes without meaning because, well, it's hard to end a story, especially if you have something that's absolutely massive like some of these stories that we've seen from the Eastern creators. The biggest thing when it comes to a story is, and a story teller, is knowing where you're going to take your character, knowing what the point of their whole journey is. And to be perfectly honest, the song that never ends gets really old after a while. And I honestly think that that is the thing that is really, really gripping the Western scene right now. Is Superman and Batman, we've told those stories. They've been around for such a long time. And at this point, we kind of ask is like, well, why are we interested in seeing characters where stories have already been told? Why why is it that when, a, when somebody goes in and they work on, they worked on, let's say, Green Lantern for a time, Green Lantern still hasn't had an end. None of these characters have had an end. But the things that are really resonating with this new generation, the younger generation, younger than I, are the stories that reach that epic final conclusion and they stop. And then you can move on to another set of characters and a new story to tell with them. Probably the same human story that's been told thousands of times over, but under a little bit of a different light. You see, storytelling doesn't actually evolve over time, but characters do, and eventually, Characters in those stories have nowhere else to go. You see, this is what I think is absolutely wrong with Western media currently and with all the Western comics and the movies and stuff. Everybody's blaming it on socio-political stuff and woke this and woke that. And don't get me wrong, I do tend to agree to a certain point. But what stories are there to tell? I've asked people who hang out in my Gilded, which by the way, if you guys would like to be a part of that, the link is in the description below. But in my Gilded, I've asked them, what stories, what stories would you like to hear? What story can you think of that Superman has not been through already? I mean, at one point, the guy restarted the sun. Well, to be perfectly honest, Superman probably should have had his end somewhere around the 50s or even pushing it maybe the 60s and maintained an icon of storytelling for generations to come. But what we're seeing is they're going to keep dragging these characters through and through and through. And eventually, there's no more advancement the characters can make. You see, what makes a hero so important to us is their growth and that final point, that point where they finish the race. And honestly, the Western media has failed in that regard. Those characters are never going to finish the race. They're going to keep going on forever. And to be perfectly honest, if there's a race that's never going to end, why start it in the first place? And I'm not saying that was the intention of Marvel and DC and these fantastic characters that have literally car carried multiple generations of Americans and multiple generations of everyone through life. But honestly, what point is there to following a hero we don't know what the point of his journey is. So what we need to do in Western media and for writers out there who are getting their start today is I think you guys need to really pick these characters, put them on an epic adventure, put them through an epic journey, find an ending to them, know when their story stops and when it is time to end their story and let them ride off into the sunset, let them do it. Let their stories be finalized. Do not drag them through more stories where all you can do is degrade their characters because at some point, that's all there's left to do. 
So ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the reasons that I think that manga and uh, anime are really taking the younger generation. They can pick it up, they can read it, and eventually the story ends and they can put it down and go, man, I really liked that, and they can move on to the time-tested stories that we love with new characters. The Western comics, well, the sad part is they set the precedent for not having new characters, and they also set the precedent for dragging characters through the mud. So, as the old adage goes, they've put themselves between a rock and a hard place. So, as always, guys, let me know what you think about this video. I do my best to read all of your comments every single Sunday on my live stream called Sunday Coffee. And basically, you just come over, you hang out, and I read your comments live on the air. And hopefully, you guys enjoy my takes on them. And every so often, my chat goads me into ranting about something. So, if that sounds interesting to you, if this was interesting to you, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And make sure to tune in on Sundays so you guys can hear my answer to your comments or just my reaction to your comments. I might agree, I might disagree, and even if you call me an idiot, I still read them. And with all of that being said, as always, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.